Did you see the way Sheree just came for Tammy? She did not hold back, she did not give no limits, she just came straight in and said, Did you sleep with my husband? I was like, Tammy? I didn't know you had a problem with me, either, which I should probably be the one with the problem, but. Did you sleep with Bob? Hey guys, it's Marad Marad here. Hope you guys are all doing well. Absolutely mad. Let me drink my tea first because this episode just highlighted how messy Kenya was yet again and she should be off the show. This should be her last season, although it won't be because Kenya wants to be relevant. So Kenya, you can do me a favour. You can head back to the circus because you ain't nothing but a clown, okay? This episode just highlighted how, how much of a witch she is. She's always in that corner stirring pots. And before we get into all of that, before we get into Sheree and Tammy, and Miss Kenya. We got Kim Fields breaking down again. No, I can't find myself here. Like seeing everybody having a good time with the And you just wish you could share that with your spouse. Yes. I don't know. And that's like weird in this day and age. There's so much work that you do when you're in a marriage. Now I told you last episode that I did not want this girl to be the cry of the group. Because when she first came in, I kind of liked her. A fresh perspective to the whole series, different. And it was nice, I liked it. But now, it's a bit of a different story. She's always crying. I do understand this time. This time I kind of sympathise with her. She's missing her husband, her kids, and she's surrounded by people like Kenya. So in that sense, I understand. You want to you wanna leave. And by the way, I'm sorry if my jump is too bright and it's hurting your eyes. If it is, I'm sorry. But anyways, she is just... But now she's just, she's breaking down too much. I like the way Phaedra's looking after her because she sympathises with her. People don't understand the relationship that Kim has with her husband. Kenya's just always talking nonsense, saying, why is she crying? Oh, is she missing them damn kids again? What Kenya wants what Kim has. That's all I can say. Kenya wants a husband. Kenya wants kids. That is what Kenya wants, but she just can't find it. Although she's one of the most prettiest girls on the set, the reason why she can't find it is because her personality and her mind frame are twisted. Let me say that again for you guys. Her personality and mind frame are twisted. Absolutely twisted. But the way she's crying, I do feel sorry for her at times, but I'm just like, you don't need to cry so much, man. Just tell, just, just, just relax. It's not everyday cry. I don't like that. It, it shows her like a weaker, pathetic side of you in the sense that you're always crying, not because you're crying, but because you're always crying all the time. But I do, I, I do feel sorry for her, and, but there's some tea going around, and if you lot know about this tea, Please comment below, and if you want to say this tea is true or not, then please comment below, because I really don't know, I'm just reading what I read. On Twitter, people are, hold on, before I even talk about the tea, let me just drink it, because it's too hot for me to not drink. Oh my god, this tea is too good. Listen, this is the tea. Apparently, Kim Fields', uh, Kim Fields husband has a boy toy or a boyfriend running around the streets. I don't know if this is true, I'm just seeing tweets. Sometimes you have those low-key tweaks that are actually true, but I told you this is what happens when you bring a marriage, a strong marriage like these two, on a reality TV show, people will try to break them down. So in my opinion, I don't think it's true at all. But we really, really don't know what goes on behind closed doors, so... I mean, I'm just saying that. Does Kim... Does, does Kim's husband have a boy toy? I don't know about that to you. When I read that last night, I was thinking, what? I was confused to hell, I thought it wasn't true, but sometimes these low-key stuff yeah, are, are, are true. So, if you lot have heard about that rumour, that tea, then please comment below, because that tea was good when I first read it. I was like, mm-hmm. So it's just like, it's not everyday cry, Kim. Please. You you don't need to cry. Just please. Hopefully, she's been crying, I think this is the third episode in a row, she's at least cried or become upset over the same problem. The storyline is wearing thin, it is drying out. I do understand that where Portia's coming from, that like she's continuously drying out the same storyline. But just relax, you're on holiday, try to have fun. <sighs> Boy, it's, I'm happy that she had a strong marriage and a lot of the girls want that. And they, if they want something, they're going to show hatred towards the person. They're not going to and show support, they're going to envy them. And now, let's get to Tammy and Sheree. The reason why Tammy and Sheree even had a little altercation on the table is because of Miss Kenya Moore. She has some pretty harsh things to say about me. She's not ever said anything negative to my face. I personally don't think that she would have been with him had he not been playing for the Falcons. So she was a gold digger. Well, who says that? Why would you, who would say that? He was there with her little witch hat, her cauldron, and stirring as she always does. Everyday stir, everyday talk, nonsense, gossip, 24-7. It, it just irritates me. That's the only thing you've got going on, and you need to leave. You have no storyline, Kenya. Kenya, 
You have no storyline, you have no man, you have nothing. You're not even a housewife. You've never been a housewife. You just come onto the show just to cause drama and nonsense. And it's just ridiculous. We've had enough of it now. First we, first we series, okay, but now you need to go. And I just, I've had enough. And she thinks she's the new queen of the show. She, I've said this before, she's not a queen, but I'm not going to get into that. She, with Sheree, and was just telling her, yes, Tammy did say something that could have led to something that was quite negative. But she didn't need to talk to Sheree like that. She didn't need to bring it up because it's got nothing to do with her. If it's, got, if it's got nothing to do with you, why are you talking about it? But little Miss Kenya wants to cause that trouble. And when that tea got revealed, when Sheree came for Tammy, the way Portia and Phaedra in the, in the corner were like, what is this tea, girl? Let me just sit here and pre. They were just peeping all that tea. She has slept with Sheree's husband, or Sheree's ex-husband, and I think it was complete light. And you got Kim Fields upset in the corner, and then the Kim and Kim and Kenya nearly had their had altercation. When Better right. Food for thought. Does it feel like there's a difference between information and instigation? Okay, Dr. Phil. Oh, hey. Are you talking to me? I'm sorry. If Kim wants to know the difference between instigation and information, she can look it up in the dictionary. You, Kim will read the hell out of you if you two ever had an argument, Kenya. Please believe. Just believe that, please. I've had enough. But yeah, I'm, 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 I like the way Cynthia and Kenya mediate that problem and kind of just put it to a corner as soon as possible because I don't think Tammy did sleep with her. Yes, they were good friends. And yes, Tammy said something that could have led to something negative, but it's none of your business, Kenya. Obviously, you just, you're just being, Kenya is being used by Bravo to cause drama because if Kenya wasn't there, that drama would not unfold and the episode would have been shit. That's all I can say about that. With that donkey booty, I was like, Phaedra, go back. Serve that booty again like you did in, in the last couple of seasons. And she had that nice ribbed dress that I... Oh, yes! Yes, Phaedra! Yes, 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 oh, my God! Had different colours, and it was beautiful. When you got Kenya throwing her shade, Kenya looked the worst. I was surprised, because when they were all coming down with their new outfits, Kenya just went in a plain red dress, and I was like, really? Even Sheree looked, Sheree looked really nice. She yes, but yes. be through, honey. Yes, yes body! Jamea was serving me life with two sugars. Portia and Phaedra matching outfits and they were looking so good. Hello ladies! Oh, 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 oh gosh! And over the past few seasons, Portia has been getting better and better in terms of her looks and I'm just gonna, I think because of her new weave line as well, is helping her. And I'm just saying, go for it Portia, you just get it, you get it. All you need to do is control your anger when it comes to certain arguments and that's really it. If you could do that, then you'd be the best. And then you have um, Cynthia with her nice um, bikini and everything. Yeah. Okay, your body's skinny, why don't you show it? Show it. Girl. And then you just have Kenya in a plain red dress, like she just tried it. She tried it. And then in other news, Kenya and Nini are friends again. Kenya came to go and see um, Nini at her Broadway show, along with other people like Phaedra. And apparently they're, well I wouldn't say they're friends, but they're cordial. I think they're taking pictures together so you could be friends. Hopefully people can move past their arguments and their bad tension and just move forward. It's nice to see that happening. I guess you being around in a show like that, it can worsen friendships and everything, but once you're off the show, it's a whole different form of atmosphere. So I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy for you guys. And then at the end of the show, we have this tall guy who's like Tammy's nephew and Kenya wants to just get in between. And when Kenya thought he was cute, I was like, Kenya, he's not your age, just, just chill. Find someone your age, settle down, that's what you want, don't you? You're such a dad. Uh, this this girl is just she's trifling. Kenya is a trifling bitch. That's all I can say. For, I, I keep on talking nonsense, but she's just irritating the hell out of me when I think about it. When she comes into my head, and when she snapped at him, and he was like, "Don't snap at me, girl." What? What's your name again? Damn sure you ain't snapping me. I was like, "Good, t tell her, tell her," because not all boys like to be snapped at. If someone snapped at me like that, I was like, "Are you okay? Chill. Take a seat." I was like, good, you deserve that. And then and near the end in the preview, you see um, Kenya escorting the guy off, even though he didn't do anything, as which is what the other girls were saying. And Kenya is here to cause the drama in this season. This will wear thin. Her character will become even more defamed than she's making it to be. And next season, I think she will just have to just leave. I'm just, I've had enough. Or hopefully Nini can come back or someone, or Sheree can get that peach, because I don't know why Sheree's doing another friend, as I've always been saying throughout these episodes, but it also happened. Sheree went down on Tammy, you have um, Kim feels breaking down, a small altercation between Kim and Kenya, 
you have all the girls dressing so beautiful in Miami, looking real good, looking nice, looking fresh, having the fun that they have. And then you have the preview for the next episode when they're just going mental. And you can see that Kenya kids out that man. I promise you now, I bet you a thousand pound, I bet any of you now, that that man did not do anything. He was innocent. Kenya just read something the wrong way on purpose. And for that reason, she wants to cause drama and escort the guy like she has tried to escort Shemaya. And she's trying to escort the guy off the damn place to cause a little bit of drama. And it's just like, Kenya, please, why? We've had enough now. You've done your class act. You are a clown. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, appreciate watching this review. This review is going to be quite short than the others because not much happened. Although I've tried to condense it down for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to do, if you want me to do reviews for any more shows, just happily tell me which ones. Comment below and I'll happily do that for you. Because I probably watch a lot more shows than you lot think I do. So if you watch this video, please follow me on Instagram. The details are below as well as what I'm showing you now. Go check that out. I'm an agency. I do stuff for brands or even from for my website you can check out my other instagram where it's called shot and style where i shoot people i like to i've liked to shoot people since i was young and so i thought i'd start doing it properly so all these people are just friends of mine and then i put all of that onto my website maradmari.com and i update that weekly two posts a week so that's always something new on that website so please go and check that out follow me on instagram on my other account Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm just absolutely in shock. Like every day, I'm seeing a new subscriber being to my channel. I'm just thinking, me? Like, why do you want to watch me? Like, I don't understand. Although I am putting YouTube videos, so it would make sense for someone to subscribe, but it just feels weird. People actually are subscribing. So I'm very, very thankful beyond belief for those people who actually are subscribing and keep tuned because I will keep on updating. Anything you want me to do, just keep on telling me and I'll try my hardest. I'm currently busy revising for exams, which is why I'm not going to be as active. Although, come true to Christmas, I will upload a lot of stuff. So there will be a lot more fashion related posts, a lot more stuff, a lot more reviews for different shows I'm going to start doing because I've got a lot of things to talk about and a lot of people to read. So I'll do all of that happily. But thank you for watching this review and thank you for subscribing and for watching all my other posts and thank you for even liking or commenting that I appreciate that a lot like more than you probably more than you guys think so I do appreciate that and have a great day thank you for watching this video.